Welcome back to the channel everybody. My name is Tim and I'm going to do a super quick video recap about the last tournament of the year. We ended up having the, the last tournament of the year this past Saturday uh, on a small lake near central Iowa here in Des Moines and we were actually greeted to a pretty tough bite. Uh, the lake's visibility was probably a foot and a half to two feet. Water temperatures were 69 to 70 degrees so definitely cooled off the past couple days and honestly the bite was tough. Um, there were eight teams that were in our tournament, eight club teams, and the biggest fish that was weighed in was a little less than two and a half pounds. Um, it was tough to come by 14 inch bass. I think only two teams brought in a five bass limit. Lots of 13 inch bass, 13 and a half inch bass, even little cookie cutter, 13 and three quarter or more inch bass, but not quite to that 14 inch minimum mark. So if you were catching a keeper bass, that definitely put you ahead of a couple other teams. So the lake has a pretty good reputation from what I've been told. There are some real nice largemouth in there, like big seven, eight plus pounders, but they all eluded us, eluded us on that day um, and definitely made for a tough but beautiful day outside. We ended up only catching five keepers throughout the day from 6.30 till 2 p.m., five 14 inch bass. A lot, lot of other smaller ones, but man, the keepers were only about a pound 11 ounces, pound 12 ounces, and they were far and few in between. Um, we caught every single keeper on a little shallow diving KVD 1.5 chartreuse crankbait. Um, a lot of teams were, a lot of teams were sharing water. It's a pretty small lake. Everybody was basically beating the bank because um, the offshore bite was kind of non-existent. So people were beating the bank, the trees, the rock, the, the plants or the, the vegetation, um, fishing slow baits. Um, we decided to do something different and throw some new moving baits around that vegetation. And that's something I guess the fish don't really see super often and only got those five keeper bites, but it was enough for second place. We only weighed in like eight point eight and a half pounds, I think. And first place had nine and a half or close to 10, I should say, probably we'll just say 10 pounds, but yeah, we were just fishing the crankbait around the lily pads, around the weeds. Um, actually I caught a keeper, like I cast out there, I reeled the crankbait down and then I let it float back up to the top. And then as it was floating back up, I, we caught our fifth keeper. So definitely a weird bite, weird scenario. Fish were tough to pattern, but um, the day ended up ending in our favor, I guess. So capped off the year with a second place finish and ended our tournament season in a pretty good way. So is this shine? Oh. Is it the deal you said? It's called the goat. Oh, the goat. That's what I meant. Half black and blue, half green pumpkin. What more do you want? Well, look at the mix. Okay, that's sexy. I see why you like it. I really do. Is it a keeper? Yes, yes it is. I believe. Well, I had one on a spinner bait up in there, so. Kind of I guess maybe. So you said the biggest of each hour is 1900? Oh, there was one up in there. Yeah, probably. It was right up in that logs. You see where I casted? Yeah. I think he's a keeper. I'll be close. Just barely hit it. Hello. He was really pulling.
Oh my God, I got one on. Huh. Well, you know what's funny about it? I reeled my crankbait in there and then I let it float to the top and I was just messing around. And then I had felt them fighting. I'm like, what the hell? And then we curved this way, correct? I got one. Maybe a decent one? I don't know. Yep. Don't know where I caught him at. That's... Keep it number three. Sir. He's the biggest one. He's still like two. Capped off the year with a second place finish and ended our tournament season in a pretty good way. Already looking forward again to next year. Our tournament season's gonna start, I think, late April, but it's been a heck of a year. It's been super fun. It's been nice getting to know a lot of the guys, getting to compete, because that's what, that's what we all love to do. And it's nice to just spend some time on the water with other people that are as big into bass fishing as I am. Thanks for watching, everybody. TWI Fishing, checking out. See you next time.